Holly Schultz from BabyGizmo.com. I figured since everybody is traveling lately for the summer, this week we would take a look at what were the must-haves to have in your diaper bag, especially while you're traveling. Now I have a diaper bag backpack here because it keeps your hands free and it's a little bit easier to travel with, but everybody kind of picks their own diaper bag with what they want. Now here is what I would recommend most of the things to put in your diaper bag. Now, of course, you are going to need diapers. Definitely bring plenty of diapers. Now, if you're traveling, keep the rest in your luggage, but make sure you have enough diapers for where you're going. Definitely bring some wipes. Always keep a tube of diaper cream in there just in case. And I bring a couple toys for when I'm changing baby to keep them busy. The diaper, um, dirty diaper bags, these are great for if you're out and about and you don't want to just dump that dirty diaper in this trash can and smell up the whole place. So I suggest bringing the dirty diaper bags. Make sure your, your diaper bag has a changing pad because when you are at a public changing place, you're definitely going to want that to protect your baby from the gross and grime of the changing tables. Now make sure your diaper bag has um, cup holders or um, bottle pockets on the outside. If you have an older child, make sure you bring a sippy. This one is by Dr. Brown's. It doesn't leak. I absolutely love it. Now the bottle, if you have a baby that obviously drinks from a bottle, make sure you bring a bottle. Um, this one's the, um, Dr. Brown's. It's one of the short ones. I recommend keeping wa your, the water for the formula if you're formula feeding in the bottle. What that does is you're always going to be prepared when baby needs a bottle right away. Measure out exactly how much water you have and then you're going to mix the formula in so you're not busy finding water. So make sure you have a bottle and with a cap because you don't want it getting all gross. Make sure you have the cap with you. Now inside the diaper bag, definitely now we're, since we're talking about bottles, bring formula. Of course, if your, your baby's <laughs> eating formula. So here's the thing. This is a, a formula stacker. It's by InnoBaby. It's called the Stack and Seal. What I like about it is you can put pre-measured formula in these so that, like I said, if you have to feed baby, you know, quickly, you have it all pre-measured out. It's also great because you can also put snacks and other things in these containers. Plus, this is a stack of four. I could take only a few if I need them. Plus, since it's a stack and seal, I could put liquid in this. So definitely bring a formula stacker. It's much easier than bringing that whole big can of formula. Um, I also, if you are on the go, I don't care where you are going, bring an extra pair of clothes for your baby. Even if you have a toddler, bring an extra pair of clothes for them. Potty train, bring them an extra pair of underwear. Put them all in a big Ziploc bag because when something happens to their clothes, you're going to take out the clean ones, put the dirty ones in, zip them in there, and put them away till you can get home. So definitely, if you have a small baby and you plan to be out all day, maybe bring two extra outfits. And if you're going like on a plane or somewhere, I definitely suggest bringing yourself an extra shirt, extra pair of shorts, stuff it in the diaper bag because sometimes the babies throw up all over you and then you're stuck. Maybe baby has a clean outfit, but you don't. So definitely the extra set of clothes. Um, if you are traveling, let's see, you need a, um, you're going to feed baby, of course, out and you have a toddler, bring a bib. This one's the Skip Hop Zoo Bib. And what I like about it is it folds into itself. Watch this. You just fold it in to this handy little pocket. Stuff's all in there. And what this does is it keeps it clean or it keeps the dirty in um, while you're moving around. It has a little tab here so it all fits into this and it folds in on itself. Like I said, keeps it clean or keeps the dirty away from everything else in here. So bring a bib. Also, if you're planning on feeding baby out, I always bring a baby spoon because you, you never know. Put it again in a Ziploc bag. You can never bring enough Ziploc bags. That way you can keep it clean before you use it and then the dirty one can just go in a Ziploc bag. Um, also, I bring more toys. This one is good because this is by Baby Olay. And what I like is this can be a ball and you could throw it with baby. They could squish it. It doesn't hurt them. But you unfold it and what it is, it's a lovey. So this is kind of going to be your toy and your lovey all in one. It's, it is super soft. It's really great. So it works as a toy and a lovey. Now, I also bring a receiving blanket. I bring a big one. Um, this one is great because it stuffs. Plus, a receiving blanket can be invaluable when you're traveling or going anywhere. It can be used as a nursing cover. It could be used as a blanket, as a little pillow for your toddler. Um, it could be used to wipe stuff up. You know, it has a million uses. So always bring a receiving blanket. Um, and those, oh, and if you're going to be, um, you have a toddler, let's say, or a baby that's eating solid foods, it's always a good idea. These are called Nurture Me, and they are powdered um, 
it's like baby food, but it's powdered, so you just add liquid. You could even add breast milk to it, and this is going to get you through security at the air, airports without them confiscating because they're powder. Um, so these are great. It's called Nurture Me. They're just little packets of powdered baby food that you mix together with water or breast milk or milk to make regular baby food. Um, they're all organic, too, so it's really, really nice. Um, so there you go. That's most of my must-haves. Of course, you're going to have other little things that you need, lots of snacks if you have a toddler, but that's kind of what I keep in my diaper bag. Oh, and I also, in this front pocket, I also keep hand sanitizer just because, you know, you want to be protected when you have your kids out and about, so hand sanitizer mostly for you. Um, so there you go. That's kind of what I put in my diaper bag when I travel even for the day or for the weekend. And I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com.